like we had to move like the military, you know what I'm saying? Bulletproof vests, bulletproof cars. What's good, Rizzle fam? You know, Suge Knight has been a menace to society ever since he made his way into the music industry. Back in the day, everyone knew that his name meant trouble, no matter who you were and what you did. Like the tome, Suge Knight tried to intimidate 50 Cent, and it totally backfired. In fact, even though it had been years, 50 has still not forgotten and still believes that Suge Knight should not cross his path again, or it might get ugly. You see, 50 Cent and Suge Knight actually met more than just once. They had several encounters, but the encounters were quite different different from the ones that Suge usually had, and that's what makes them so interesting. These two are both guys that you don't want to beef with, so let's get into more details about what made these two come at each other so hard. So Suge Knight's one of the most notorious names tied to rap music that came from the west coast of the US. He managed a number of hip-hop goats, such as Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg, and Tupac Shakur. Moreover, Suge Knight was the CEO and co-founder of Death Row Records, one of the earliest record labels that promoted gangster rap music. Some of the most successful albums under the label include Dr. Dre's The Chronic, Snoop Dogg's Doggy Style, and Tupac's All Eyes on Me. Even though Suge's name was behind a lot of big boy rap albums that made it a genre of what it is today, he didn't gain all the attention that he's got today because of his record label. In fact, some would argue that he gained and kept most of his fame because he's a very controversial person. In other words, the majority of people knew him as a cold-blooded dude who resolved to violence whenever he had a problem. His name was dragged across media outlets all the time because of his wild temper and an ego that no man could ever contain. He's been in and out of jail several times, and he's been tied to a number of murders, too. Suge has been charged with all kinds of felonies, from DV to robbery and manslaughter. This guy is not someone you want on your back. Most people connect Suge with the deaths of some of the biggest rap names in the history, Tupac and Biggie. Suge was driving the car in which Tupac got shot and a lot of folks believe that he was behind Biggie's death as well. To say that he wasn't liked by the rap community would be an understatement. In fact, plenty of people straight up had nothing but hate for this guy. He was nothing but a bully with an inflated ego who used violence to, to reach his goals. Did you do that? No, I did not. It never happened? It never happened. You didn't take him out to the balcony? How did that sound? It sounds like what occurs in other police reports involving you. Again and again, there's a pattern oh, this night where you do that. That's not true. He had intimidated several people in order to make them see his way and agree to whatever he had planned out. One time, he allegedly had his goons trash the hotel room of Vanilla Ice and even threatened to throw him off the balcony just because he wasn't getting his cut from Vanilla's profits. Then, Suge threatened Easy e telling him he'd take out his relatives if he didn't sign off Dr. Dre and DOC off of Ruthless Records. These are just some of the problematic things he's done in in his career. Just take a look at some of these comments about him. This guy has always been a monster. All his life was surrounded by chaos and he enjoys that. Some people are just bad to the bone. No need to find sad stories or excuses to it. This man is deaf on those people who enjoys being evil. Greed and ego destroyed Suge, along with the company. It's a sad legacy because there was way more than enough money that could have went around. And in case you wonder where Suge is right now, well, to nobody's surprise, he's in jail. He's been sentenced to 28 years in prison for running over a man called Terry Carter and taking his life. He was also charged with an attempted murder of Clee Sloan, aka Bone, who was heavily injured after Suge ran him over and Terry Carter with his truck. Even though Suge broke a lot of people and threatened even more, there was a guy he would never intimidate. Someone who wouldn't succumb to pressure no matter what you threw at him. That man was 50 Cent. See, 50 was never a guy you could play with. Everyone knows that he cheated death on several occasions. One time he took nine hits to his body, including his legs, hands, arms, face, and chest. As he put himself on one occasion, you don't just go back to normal after that. Trauma like that changes you, and the wounds heal, but you never forget the pain. That's precisely the reason why Fiddy didn't even flinch when Suge Knight dropped by the video shooter in the club and played it cool. That's right, Suge Knight came for 50 Cent one time. It was during the video shoot of one of his most popular songs, and he did not get the reaction that he was expecting. Here's what really happened that day. So the story was told by one of the D12 members who goes by the name of Bazaar. He was there at the spot when Suge dropped by and the whole meeting took place. According to him, before Fiddy got signed to Shady Record, nobody really had to move different on the streets. But as soon as Fiddy got on the Shady roster, things were never the same. They had to equip themselves and stay ready at all times. Safety became the number one concern for the group. Now these people were superstars, and with a lot of attention came a lot of problems, and Suge Knight was one of them. This is what Bazaar said in one of the interviews he did not too long about his and his gang's life ever since Fiddy was signed. But shit definitely changed, you know what mm. I'm saying? Like how we, how we was moving, you know what I'm saying? Like we was... We was in some shit, like we had to move like the military, you know what I'm saying? Bulletproof vests, bulletproof cars, you know what I'm saying? Like, 
you know, we wouldn't really, we didn't really have to worry about that before him. Prime example of dangerous times was when Suge pulled up with 30 Mexicans and everybody just started running. That's the type of stuff they had to live with. Bizarre spoke. We were shooting in the club video. Shit, somebody said, Suge Knight here. And uh, 50 was, I was at the bar, gang was there. He was shooting in the club scene and he stopped and Suge came in with 30 Mexicans, like mm -hmm. you said. There you go. Which is weird, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> he always roll with the so, Mexican. Uh, you know what I'm saying? And I just remember Smurf and 50, 50 was like, what's up, man? What you want to do? It was clear as day, 50 wasn't afraid of no man, not even the big bad Suge Knight. After 50 asked Suge why he came, Suge just raised his hand and told all the people to leave the place. I'm actually just funny because he showed up to the in the club video shoot. He came, it was like, Suge's outside, Suge's outside. Everybody like, Shug, Shug, Shug. He was running, dropping shit, Shug. light man. Everybody going, Pow. I'm in front of the camera like this. Everybody Shug's there, what up? Running, it was just gone. Fiddy himself remembers the incident. During one of the interviews he did for MTV, he was asked about that incident, and both him and the G-Unit gang who were present talked about it that day. After that, everybody agreed that the fact of 50 was ice cold. One fan wrote, Just goes to show someone will always be bigger and badder than you, and should got what coming to him. Fiddy was the last reals dude for real. He and the unit most definitely held NY down for a minute. He can't front though. Now intimidation was the name of the game for Suge. He probably dropped by to let Fiddy know that he was watching it. At the time, Suge wasn't sure if perhaps Dre put Fiddy's sin on him to take his life. Even though Fiddy never came for Suge's life, there was almost a shoot down between the two and it happened later on. Russell Simmons, the co-founder of the legendary record label Def Jam, talked about it this one time. He was praising Fiddy for his insane courage and the fact that he could laugh even in the face of danger. He went as far to call Fiddy enlightened because ever since his near-death experience, Experience, Fiddy just wasn't ever scared again. See, Simmons talked about how Suge Knight approached Fiddy with a group of guys and they were all carrying burners. Not only was Fiddy totally calm about it, but he went to his car and took an Uzi to protect himself if something like that was necessary. After that, Suge and his goons left and Fiddy happily told everyone that they won't be back in a while, and he was right. Allegedly, Suge and Fiddy never had such moments again later on. Suge knew that Fiddy was different. Cause what Fiddy do, what Fiddy do? He ain't no pressure, no sweat, that nigga Fiddy told. And that's funny shit he told James Cruz. James Cruz, go to the store and buy 16 knives. Because if I got 16 niggas with knives, that's as damn near as worse as having guns. His longtime friend and music associate, Tony Yeo, talked about it too. Right before the Vibe Awards in 2004, Fiddy told James Cruz, his co-manager, to go to the shop and buy every G-Unit member a knife so they could defend themselves if things went south. There was a lot of tension that night, and a lot of rappers who had unsquashed beef were sitting too close to each other. Not to mention Suge Knight dropped by even though he wasn't even invited. And things did, in fact, go south. At the Vibe Awards back in 2004, there was a stabbing after Dr. Dre got hit in the head, just moments before he received his award. Young Buck, who was associated with the G Unit squad, stabbed the guy who punched Dre, and he even caught a charge for it. However, he didn't go to jail because there wasn't enough evidence to put him behind bars. In either case, Fiddy's scent is built different, and Suge Knight knew better than to ever cross Fiddy's path again. But what are y'all thoughts on Fiddy's scent and the incident he had with Suge? Let us know all about it in the comments section below. 